Good morning guys, what's going on? So today I'll be showing you how to use a PS4 controller to play Honkai Impact 3 or any other mobile game actually. This will be a very step-by-step -step style guide so you can follow along if you want to do this. First there are a few things you will need, of course. I'm using Nox, it probably works with most other emulators that have a keyboard control, but Nox is what I'm using. The other thing you'll absolutely need is something called DS4 Windows. I'll leave a link in the description to download it, but you know, depending on when you're watching this, it could be expired or such, so you'd probably be better off just googling DS4 Windows. The first result is probably the right one. Obviously you will also need a PS4 controller and a way to connect it to your computer. Personally I'm doing it through Bluetooth because I like the wireless experience, but you can also use a micro USB cable. If your computer isn't Bluetooth capable, you can also get a Bluetooth dongle or again, use a cable. So if you have all of those things, let's proceed. Let's start with DS4 Windows here. This will be your like main screen. It's very simple, it's very plain. What it does is take the signal from your PS4 controller and it basically turns it into a uh, Xbox controller because as far as I'm aware Windows supports Xbox controllers, but not really PS4 controllers So what this does is basically turn your PS4 controller into an Xbox 360 controller That's not super important, but keep it in mind So the first step is to get it connected here. So as I was editing this I thought it would be a good idea to uh, completely start over, remove all controllers from my computer, disconnect them, so we can start together from square one and uh, connect them like this. So we're doing this through Bluetooth. Connecting it with a micro USB cable would probably just be a lot more simple and straightforward. Uh, you just connect it and I guess it would just like install some drivers and stuff and then it should appear in DS4 Windows. But we're just gonna try it like this. So first go into your Windows search, just type in Bluetooth and Bluetooth and other devices settings should, uh, should pop up. Click that, you'll be in this window. Add Bluetooth or other devices. Just click the first one, Bluetooth should work. Hold the PS4 button in between the two joysticks for a few seconds and it should say, your device would like to pair it to this Windows device, you want to allow this, let's go ahead and allow it. Connection succeeded. Once you do that and it's connected, you will want to hit start down here on DS4 Windows and it should pop up along with here in Bluetooth and other devices we have Xbox 360 controller for Windows. As I stated before, it does turn it into an Xbox 360 controller, but also we have wireless controller here, which is, you know, it's kind of weird. So it counts kind of them both, but that shouldn't be a problem. And if you have multiple PS4 controllers, you'd obviously just want to do the same thing for that. Again, plugging it in with micro USB, it should be actually just simpler. Plug it into your computer. It'll probably give you some kind of prompt and then it should be connected. Then you would hit start over here on DS4 Windows and Hopefully it shows up. If not, tell me and I'll try and figure that out. Okay, at this point, I will assume you have a controller here. There are two controllers connected here. You only need one, obviously. Uh, I just don't want anyone to be confused why I have two instead of one. So the next step is to go back to Knox and set keyboard mapping. So to show this off, we're just gonna go into like one of these little training camps, doesn't cost anything, whatever. And you can leave it on this screen. So once you're able to see where all the buttons are, you're gonna hit this button up top here. Uh, the the keyboard commands and you can see my layout already. I have the WASD uh, control pad here. I have down, right, up, and left for my attacks. So down, it really doesn't matter what you put here. And to make it clear, this left, right, up, down, these are keyboard inputs. Up here you can see I have P for pause, one and two to change characters. To set these keyboard controls, you just click anywhere on the screen and you can hit like, I don't know, L. So whenever you hit L, it'll hit this spot of the screen. For movement, you go up here, drag it to where you want it to be. Of course, we want it here in the center and uh, try and center that as best as possible because that's what it's gonna be. And so when you would hit WASD on your keyboard, they would move in that direction. So when you're done setting everything up, don't hit save just yet. I'm gonna move that off to the side a little bit because now we have to focus on DS4 Windows. Uh, we have selected profile as Honkai for now. We're gonna make a new profile so you can kind of follow along. So when you hit that, you come to this screen and this is where you change all of the controls. So looking back at Nox now, we have down, right, left, and up for our attacks, okay? So if we want our attacks mapped to X, square, triangle, and circle, what we would do is let's start with X. So double, double click that, and then you have your keyboard control here. So we have X set as down. And now every time you hit X, it's going to trigger the down arrow on the keyboard, which will then trigger that in Nox. So basically all we're doing is mapping our PS4 controller to hit keyboard strokes 
and then the keyboard strokes are hitting a position in Knox. It's pretty simple. And then you do, do the same thing with all the other buttons. So this is circle. Let's say we want that to be dodge. So we check what keyboard input we put on Knox and just mirror that here. So for Knox, I hit the right arrow. So we're going to go over here and hit the right arrow. And now that is mapped to that. And so those are basic button commands, up, down, left, right. Up and down, I have to change between characters. So I have up mapped to one and down mapped to two. So the number on the keyboard and I move my character with the left stick. So LS up is going to be W as you can see here. LS down is going to be S. LS left is going to be A and LS right is going to be D because going back to Knox, you can see the virtual control pad is WASD depending on which direction it is. And you can map all the different keys on the PS3 controller to do whatever you want to using this software. By default, the trackpad here is a trackpad. So moving your fingers across it will move the mouse. So it'll act like one of those little laptop things. I hate those but it does work if you really don't want to touch your mouse at all. And clicking the trackpad acts as a click. You could, and this is what I did, map the mouse click to like the share button, for example, because when I'm trying to click down on the trackpad, it'll usually like jitter the mouse away from where I'm trying to click. So I just map the share button to left click so I can move the mouse around with the trackpad and hit the share button to actually click the mouse. Of course, when I know I'm going to be in menus and like upgrading Valks and stuff for a while, I'm just going to use the mouse, the actual mouse, because that's a way easier, of course. But if I'm just like going through a stage and uh, just need to click the next stage to get there and start playing again, then I'll just use the PS4 controller and not touch them out. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I don't really know what else there is to say. I don't usually do guides like this, so I'm sorry if I'm bad at explaining things. Oh yes, of course, you cannot forget to hit the save profile button after everything is set up. You should also type in a profile name. I I saved mine as Honkai, of course, because th this is specifically for Honkai. One thing to note is that on Nox, there is a controller settings, but I've personally never messed with it. I don't even really see my controller here. It says Android controller, so I'm not sure if that would even work. There might be some other method to do this, but this is the one that works for me, so this is the one I'm sharing. Uh, it was pretty fast to set up, pretty simple. I don't mess with any of the dead zone or other or anything like that. You could change the idle disconnect to a longer duration, like 15 minutes, if you're sometimes setting the controller down and like, you know, using your mouse to to upgrade Valix or just to go through the menus and such because again I think that's easier with the with an actual mouse. You can even tell it what happens when you tilt up or tilt down or tilt left or right. So there's tons of customization in here. I just went for the total basic stuff, but uh, this could also be kind of cool. So if you want to like switch to your other Valix or something, you just tilt up and it'll switch to them because you could map this to uh, one or two, like I have it set on the keyboard controls. But yeah, I guess I'll do it. If you have any questions concerning this, just leave a comment down below. I'll be checking them uh, periodically throughout the day. Make sure to drop a like if you found this useful or helpful, or if you just enjoyed it, whatever. Likes for any reason are always welcome. Thanks guys, as always, for watching, and until next time.